What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Caps, and you enjoyed my content, please smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sana Capricorn. This is hashtag glow up for June of 2022. This can resonate if you have Capricorn in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or snow, moon, and energy for your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. For, uh, hashtag glow up for the sign of cats. Okay, so this is hashtag glow up for June of 2022. I know I have some newbies on my channel, so I'm going to explain what it is. It's basically like, okay, so I do the sign readings bi-weekly, right? And I also do Truth Hidden, which is the negative crazy crap everybody um doesn't want you to know um and i channel in messages and do cards for that right well this is the positive aspect so hashtag glow up is the positive aspect positive energy uh truth hidden is the negative so this is focusing on growth healing prosperity things of that nature um positive things mostly positive things sometimes i get out negative messages i ain't gonna lie but um it's it's focused on positivity growth healing um shadow work things of that nature okay so for anybody who doesn't know and this is for the sign of capricorn so like i said if you have caps any aspects of your charts this might resonate for you i encourage everybody to check out their sun moon rising being um sorry sun moon rising and north node uh placements at least of course you can check out like the venus and the uh jupiter and all that and as well if you'd like Spirit messages you have Sonic at point. Whoa, holy crap. Um, I did receive two channelings as I was uh, meditating on your energy, uh, Capricorn. I heard um, starting to walk is what I heard. Starting to walk and mud run. Mud run. So you you plug it in how resonates. Mud runs are so fun. They're so fun. I would love to go to a mud run if I knew one close to my area. Or semi close. Um, I've never been to a mud run, but I heard they're so fun. Uh, maybe one of you guys has experienced a mud run, or you are about to go to a mud run, or you're about to participate in a mud run, or something like that. How that resonates, but some kind of mud run energy and then starting to walk. So I feel exercising energy there. Maybe for some of you guys, maybe you're going to get out and start walking, or that possibly could pertain to a child. Maybe a child's walking, uh, a very young child, maybe, um, starting to walk. You plug it in, how it resonates. Starting to walk and mud run. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so, and for the glow up, I use different decks, positive light side aspect decks here. And I included the flower ones um, in this one since we're in spring. And I'm going to use the animal spirit. So we have um, Teresa of Avila, Our Lady of the Interior Life. Spiritual Alignment puts my manifestation into motion. Wild Rose, Awakening Inspired Action and Hearing Inner Guidance. In, inner guidance. I hope everybody's doing well today. Spirit messages you have Sonic Capricorn. Way too many. I think one of you guys is going to start walking. Like exercising is what I'm feeling for some. Maybe uh, you haven't been getting out and moving your body. Uh, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. You know, energy is going to reverse. But I'm feeling for at least one, you're going to get out and start walking. Um, and I feel you might not have been exercising for a minute, whoever that's for. But that's really great. Um, it truly is. Like, for example, today I went out and started walking. I walked about three miles today. And it was beautiful out there and i'm hashtag no regrets so i don't care if you go i mean if the, that message is for you and you are the one about to start getting out there and maybe you haven't exercised in a while and you're going to start walking i just want to say i'm very proud of you uh, because everybody starts somewhere and it might be it might be a quarter of a mile at first it might be a tenth of a mile but at least it's something at least it's something, and every time you get out and do it, you'll build your endurance up. Whoever you are, I don't care what age you are, whoever you are, what's going on. I'm very proud of you. I just want to say that, whoever that's for, okay? 
Um, number 37 could be very significant number in one's life, number 37. Uh, that's on the flower card. Or, um, or any other significant number in one's life. Um, I haven't heard any numbers yet, but we have 37 on here. Let's see. You have air sign energy. Uh, one of you guys will be dealing with the air sign, or you might have air in your chart. If you are dealing with the air sign or have air in your chart, um, you could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're semi rising Venus, or feminine behavior in your charts. If you are dealing with air sign, all right, Maud. Like a moth to a flame. A Capricorn is about to develop a hobby soon, a very healthy hobby. About to have lots of motivation to do it through many series of chain events. Well, that's beautiful. Caps, whoever that's for, like a moth to a flame, a Caps is about to have, um, develop a hobby. And I heard a healthy hobby. So it's not drinking, it's not shooting up meth in your veins or snorting up coke or what have you, what have you. It's a healthy hobby. Maybe for some, I feel for some it's walking. And for some it might be a mud, mud runs. I really, really, really want to start doing mud runs. And I'm so serious about that. I'm not a caps. I'm not a caps. But th that's fun. That's fun. Um, but whatever healthy hobby that is, whether it's walking, mud runs, or anything else, um, you're, it sounds like you haven't developed it yet, but you're about to. Um, it sounds like you're about to get some serious motivation to do it through many series of chain events. So... This is you, your energy I'm feeling, moth to a flame. So moth to a flame means you're going to really like it. You're going to really like it. You're going to be like a moth to a flame to this very healthy hobby, whatever it is. You go with your bad self, Cavs. Teresa of Avila, our lady of the interior life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Wow. Twin flame connection for one coming. One, a serious, very serious divine connection. Holy crap, what is going on? Whoa, a true twin flame connection for one and for one of you guys, um, a true divine connection. Um, I'm feeling divine femme, divine femme connection or divine masculine, divine masculine connection. It's a good... A true divine connection is a connection with another divine being. It doesn't have to be romantical. It could be um, if y'all chose to turn it into that possible twin flame-esque energy. But it doesn't have to be. It is a connection, one divine being with another divine being. So it could be divine femme div to divine femme, divine masculine, divine masculine, or divine femme to divine masculine. How that resonates, but it's a, two divine beings, very high vibrational light side beings, divine connection. For one of you guys, for one, it's a true, um, a twin flame connection coming, like twin flame. Now, twin flame connections can be very messy. Um, I just want to disclaimer this. Um, I don't know if you're in the beginning of your twin flame journey or reconnecting or what have you, but twin flame connections can be very messy. It really all depends if you or your twin has done the healing, growth, shadow work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, inside themselves before you meet or reconnect. Um, so, however that resonates there, uh, perhaps, okay? But definite love energy here. I mean, love of the universe energy. Love of the universe, love of yourself, love of the world. Universal love energy here. That's really beautiful. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. Spiritual awakening here in a huge way. One's already happened for a Capricorn. Another one, it's about to happen. Wow, these are coming in so strong. So spiritual awakening in a huge way. For one of you guys, it's already happened. One, it's about to. So spiritual awakening energy, spiritual alignment, puts my manifestation into motion. So when you're spiritually aligned with the universe, it, it does. It puts your manifestation into motion. 
Um, but one of you guys has already had a spiritual awakening, one you're about to. And I think the one that's already had the spiritual awakening and the one that's about to, it's about to help your manifestation, whatever you're trying to manifest in now. And hopefully this is on a light side way. Um, I don't like doing dark art channelings in this one. Um, just for real. Um, I really try to stray away from that. That's the true setting. Wild Rose. Oh, let me look this one up real quick. Let's see. I like to look up the symbolism for these when I do these. I haven't done these in a while. Um, hopefully you guys like them because I have a lot of newbies on here recently. Let's see. Okay, in ancient mythology, the wild rose is a powerful symbol of love and adoration. It is strongly associated with Aphrodite, the Greek goddess, of beauty and love, who is often portrayed with a crown of roses around her head. In addition, the rose is a symbolic carrier of secrets. Wow, so you have double confirmation in here for love energy, um, love of a, like a twin flame partner or... Um, love of the universe um, or love for this divine being how that resonates um, love adoration I feel you have love or adoration for someone or someone has love or adoration for you because energies can be reversed um, and also there might be some secrets um, maybe you're holding secrets or someone else is holding secrets because um, it also can be symbolic of secrets so you plug it in how it resonates wow That's beautiful. Awakening inspired action. There is only what life is asking of me. A Capricorn is about to put action into their words. For one, you have never been good at this in the past. But you're about to start doing it. Wow! What? This is a good one. Holy crap. I heard a caps is about to start putting action into their words. For uh, This is at least for one of you now. You only take the messages that resonate. One message may resonate. Two may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? But however it resonates, at least one, you're about to start putting action into your words. Whoever that message is for, I heard basically... You've never been good at it in the past. So I feel you might have manipulated person, people, place, or situation, or you just never follow through. But however that resonates, I heard you're going to start doing it or make a very um, concerted effort to start doing it, however that resonates. I feel maybe something has happened in the past to make you start making this change is what I'm feeling for some. But you plug it in how it resonates. Hearing inner guidance, my intuition flows whenever I am still. A Capricorn is about to start receiving downloads from the spiritual universe. It is about to shock the hell out of them. But the spiritual realm is giving you these gifts for a reason. You made fun of someone in the past with these gifts, but you're about to realize they're very real. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. Cass, this is such a good reading. So for one of you guys, you're about to start getting spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe. Um, now, I didn't I didn't hear what kind you're going to get. I don't know if it's going to be visions, the clairvoyance, or the, the clear audience like I get so strongly. Um, or the uh, or it could be um, dreamscape downloads or the smelling. Uh, I forget what that's called. But um, however that resonates. I mean, of course, that all resonates on the psychic realm for anybody who doesn't know because these are psychic intuitive messages. I just want to disclaimer that. But however that resonates, you're about to start getting them. Wh however you're going to get them. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that part. But 
I did hear that you made fun of someone with these kind of abilities in the past, but now you're about to start receiving them. The spirit, spiritual realm is going to start blessing you with them, and you're going to realize that basically it's not a bunch of hogwash, that it is for real, for real, the real deal. That's beautiful. So not only are you going to get blessed in the spiritual realm, but it's going to give you a different perspective on someone that you made fun of in the past with the same type of ability or abilities. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. So hearing inner guidance, I think for some, you've been really doing a lot of deep reflection and meditation, and that's why you're about to start getting the spiritual gifts. For some, I feel strongly feel it might be clear audience. And I didn't hear it was going to be clear audience, which is what I get um, very strongly. Of course, I get them all. I get them all. I've, I've even had the smell one before. I just never put it on here, um, but I have. Um, so I get them all, but I get very strong clear audience. Like you know, I channel in, like I get on here to channel in. It's that strong. But, and it took a while for me to develop it that way. But my point is, I feel for one, it might be clear audience. I didn't hear it was, but if it's not, it's any other spiritual gift, however that resonates. Um, I just keep seeing the word hearing, so I think it might be clear audience. But I do think you've been meditating, going within. I think something's happened in your life to really make you meditate, whoever this that message is for. Um, I'm serious. I, I, I'm serious. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuition. Do you plug it in how it resonates? If I feel energy shift here, like something's happened in somebody's life where they, they, they're they really looking at things from different perspectives, if that makes sense. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Um, and everyone have a wonderful day. And namaste.